1996 ALCS Game 1, Baltimore facing the Yankees at Yankee Stadium, Andy Pettit pitching for the Yankees, Scott Erickson pitching for the Orioles. Hall of Famer Tim Raines here hits a little weak fly ball to left, but BJ Surhoff can't find it, and since Raines was running hard, he is on second. Now, Hall of Famer Wade Boggs, ground ball back to Erickson, we got Raines on third. Should be Hall of Famer Bernie Williams, brings him in with a ground ball to Hall of Famer Cal Ripken. I never did steroids, Rafael Palmero draws a leadoff walk, followed by the Mets' biggest pain in the ass, Bobby Bowman, yeah, they're still paying him to this day. It's a pop-up. Tino's calling. I got it. I got it. But Jim Larratt says, you know what? I am the Yankee postseason god. I'll take this one. Just kidding. Tino is awesome. So the Orioles here end up tying the game. Cal Ripken changes his swing almost every pitch. Shuffles the bat a little bit. Hits one in the gap. The Orioles are going to have second and third. Why am I going through all this? Well, because it's a fun game and a lot happened. And this is how the Orioles tie it up. Hall of Famer Eddie Murray grounds out to Hall of Famer Jeter. Mariano Duncan. This right here really isn't the play I'm going to talk about, but he's the reason why I'm making this video in the first place. And with the runner on third, Laritz hits it to Zeal who bobbles it, but Laritz runs like he has a piano on his back, he's out, Yankees take a 2-1 lead. Busting out Brady Anderson here ties it with the home run, he hit 50 home runs at one year and basically never came close. Ties the game and then Mr. I never did steroids. It's a solo home run himself. And uh-oh, Yankees are in trouble. BJ Serhoff, bases loaded here, one out, fly ball to center field, and before you know it, it is 4-2 Baltimore. We got Andy Pettit not looking so happy here on the bench, but don't worry, Andy, things are about to change. Wade Boggs leads off with a walk, and then Bernie Williams here hits a deep fly ball to right. Bobby Bonilla just barrels into the wall. Good attempt, but that ball trickles away. Got Boggs on third, Bernie on second. This was another play that I actually did not remember about when I went back to replay this game. Orozco comes in, strikes out Tino, and here comes the move. After the walk to Big Cecil, Orozco is out, Benitez is in, and guess what? Yankee fans, baseball fans, you know what's about Six. to happen here. In right field, Tarasco going back to the track, to the wall. And what happens here? He contends that a fan reaches up and touches it. But Richie Garcia says no. It's a home run. Yeah, the kid absolutely reached over. And here's the interview during the game. The it's, it's the difference in the game right now. Wow, it's, it's pretty unbelievable. And I didn't think it would ever happen to me. One of the most famous Yankee fans of all time. And as I said earlier, an inning later, Mariano Duncan, yes, that Mariano Duncan, we play today, we win today, does it. Hits a fly ball into foul territory to right field. There comes Tarasco. Richie Garcia is right there, but uh-oh, a fan reaches out and touches it. But Richie Garcia says no, it's a foul ball. Tarasco, not happy at all. Davey Johnson already got thrown out because of the Jeter home run, so Echeverria has to come out to argue it. But again, doesn't get overturned. Did a fan touch that ball? Yeah, they reached over and blocked his glove. Tony Tarasco had an absolute friggin' nightmare in right field this game. And remember, he's replacing Bonilla. Yeah, that was definitely interference as well. And today, if they had replay, I bet you that would have been overturned. Yeah, Tarasco's just like having a fit right now. And on the next pitch, Terry Matthews drills Mariano Duncan. Was it on purpose? I don't know. I don't think so. But you can speculate about that all you want. Let me know in the comments below if that was. I really don't think it was. Anyways, this game goes into extra innings. And I do I, I do want to say I understand why that play with Duncan and the foul ball has not been talked about. But the fact that he got drilled immediately after. It happened in the same game that Jeffrey Mayer, Meyer, however you want to pronounce his name, caught the ball from Jeter. It's crazy to think that this all happened in one game. Does everybody remember how this one ended? Well... Burn, baby, burn! And here's a drive to left. It's mighty high. It's mighty far. And good night. 